What is it about the Gold Pass that has you buying it month after month or wanting it so incredibly bad? Is it those exclusive hero skins? Or maybe the massive season bank payout at the end of the season? Is it the magic items or those incredible perks that come with it? Today we're over here on my Town Hall 11 and I'm gonna show you why I ended up buying the Gold Pass. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joe and today we're over here on the Sarge Train account, my Town Hall 11 that nobody ever sees. This is the account that I haven't touched in months and we started up the Rush Base series. The Rush Base series takes place in Paradox Reloaded. We just started this clan back up recently and it's actually full of players. So the other night I got online and I was like sitting there and I was like opening up the tab and I saw a bunch of notifications and I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? And the whole chat was full of requests. And so one of the biggest perks that comes from the Gold Pass that I really, really value value and probably a lot of higher level players value is that one gem donation perk so that one gem donation perk comes in really handy because of players like this we got requests that are currently in the chat they're not that old like some of them have been filled already but you got one here for the pekka and then you also got one for hogs and here's the thing i'm using miners i'm miner farming with this account so i brought this account in to start filling some requests and i needed to do it without having to dump troops and train new troops there's just so many different requests that are being asked of us like the bowlers or the hog Riders, some want Valkyries, some want Golems, and there's just so many different things that higher level players have to donate that it's like, I don't use those troops all the time. So one gem boost is where it's at. So obviously there's sometimes you do have the special events that pop up, but overall every single season in the gold pass, the first item unlocked is the one gem donation. And that's exactly what I use it for and why I value the gold pass so incredibly much is because of that perk in particular. Now I'm not saying that or discrediting the other perks. I, I, I love the season bank. Let's 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 go ahead and identify that real quick. So in this video today, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of farming because I need to fill up this season bank. I just bought this gold pass about three days ago, and we're already down to the last day in 14 hours, and I got to get this thing done. Man, you got to love Crystal League. I'm telling you. So anyways, I know some of you are probably questioning, saying, hey, Joe, well, one gem donation, doesn't that require buying more gems? We'll talk about that here in a moment. On our previous series, on our other series, our Town Hall 9 and our Rush Base series, it's all been free to play and we're mainly doing that because a lot of players can relate to it some players just can't get it or they can't afford it it is what it is you know what I mean but for you guys this is what I do weekly we do a giveaway for a gold pass so if you're not in our discord server make sure that you do join the discord server that way you can partake in those giveaways each week I think there's one coming up on the first I think there's gonna be two gold passes given away I'm not really sure exactly I don't remember but I know that we have one coming up very soon so make sure that you join in there and the link for that's gonna be down in the description description below we do have a very nice dead base here I don't know if you notice all the amount of loot here but we got the king and we got the queen we're doing a little bit of a queen charge here very dead base obviously town hall 11 or what was a town hall 11 now it's a very dead like town hall 10 ish situation and if you are not minor farming for gold elixir and dark elixir I highly recommend it as a town hall 10 and a town hall 11 strategy it's actually really awesome but you got to make sure that you uh, bring some spells you're gonna need heal spells for it you're gonna need the rage spell for your queen charge and we actually have a really easy base here so the queen's doing very nicely over there on her own she's gonna continue to walk and walk the flank and the king's over there dying he's getting taken out by a bomb tower he <laughs> go bye bye king and uh, miners let's see miners are down here in the bottom side of the base so they're tied up on the core let's go ahead and drop a heal spell there and let's drop a you know what let's do this rate uh, rage let's go ahead and rage the miners rage spell and miners man those miners go crazy they're like hoo -ah, hoo -ah. <laughs> it's like crazy, man. I'm telling you. So, race spell on the miners. They're going to walk through the base, taking down multiple buildings. They're going to speed this process up, and we might need to just hold on to that final heal spell. Let's just hold on to the heal spell for the next raid. We don't need it in this raid. So, it looks like we got plenty of troops. Let's go ahead and use the queen's ability. That way, we can get out of here, train up our next army, and do it again. Uh, this is a very basic army. It's just uh, Archer Queen, like five healers or four healers, whatever, and then miners, and then a few wall breakers. Nothing special. Not a lot of uh, work required. So it looks like we got all the loot, and we're going to go ahead and bail on this. I'm not worried about the three-star because I want to stay in Crystal League. 
All right, so while we wait for that Barbarian King to recover, we're going to talk about one gem donation equaling buying more gems. You're absolutely correct. There is no flaw in your logic whatsoever. You're, I mean, unfortunately, here's the thing. When you have a, a clan, and it's a young clan, let's take a look at the clan. We have a very youthful clan. A lot of these players I've seen here on YouTube and their names multiple times, and a lot of them bounce around a lot. I know some of these players that I'm looking at from the top of the list, I've seen them in like five or six clans in the last couple months. They're trying to find home. It is what it is, you know what I mean? But not a lot of players want to wait for donations. And me, as a clan leader, I want to try to keep people around. I want them to keep playing. And I want to kind of fill their void, you know? And a lot of players need clan castle troops. So clan castle troops happens to be the biggest uh, thing for surviving clans. Obviously, activity keeps a clan alive. And, uh, uh, you know, winning wars and people working together. But for the most part, for those players that can't get their clan castle filled, they're going to bounce out and find a clan that can. So that's one of the biggest things that I value value the players more than I value a couple bucks for some gems. You know what I mean? And that's just my personal preference. I'm not saying that you have to do that in order to be a successful clan leader by any means, but that's just how I do it. I just make sure that the clan castles are filled and make sure that people keep playing. And that's what makes us and this game survive for many years to come, I'm sure. But anyways, we're going to quit talking. Let's go find another base and I will be right back. Oh, 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 oh. So Crystal League, if you're not in Crystal League doing a little bit of farming as a Town Hall 11, you are probably wrong. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of funneling real quick and try to get this king to do a little clearance. Let's use our queen. I wanna take the queen in to grab that eagle artillery and get rid of it. That way we can take pressure off of our miners. The eagle artillery versus miners is not a good thing at all. I'm telling you right now. All right, so king, let's go ahead and use his ability to get him away from that queen. That way we can drop our healers. And now that the cannon is targeting our queen, looks like the queen's gonna go around the opposite side. Let's go ahead and drop the miners, get the wall breakers, or oh, drop the wall breakers, not the miners. The wall breakers, get the queen inside the base. Let's drop some miners right here to make sure that she actually goes in. And we want her to get rid of that eagle for us. So she's gonna move in, she's gonna target an archer tower, go down into an air defense, and then she's gonna follow it down into that eagle artillery. Let's just gonna take on multiple things. I kinda wish I had a jump spell here, or at least one of those wall breakers still. It just didn't work out. Uh, wall breakers did not uh, fill the void there we opened up two different sides of this compartment so she's going to sit there and bounce around a little bit targeting the elixir storage target that air defense after this archer tower all right so now she should target the wall yep yep there she goes all right let's go ahead and rage her and now that that uh eagle artillery is gone we can drop our miners this way we're going to save some from over there on the other side that way we can try to funnel them in once they get into this location no single targets. All right, so no, no single targets. We're good to go on that queen. She should be fine. Level one and level two Inferno Tower. That's very, very nice for us. Let's go ahead and drop a heal spell in this region here. And let's drop some miners over here to deal with that over there. So we want to try to keep them inside. The thing about miners, if you're not aware of how to use miners, they will go everywhere. Like they are spreading out right now. And when they get spread out like this, it's not always the best thing, especially against higher level Town Hall 11s. It just doesn't work out. And I think that's why the defenses are designed the way they are eagle artillery especially all right so we got a nice push keep on going boys let's go down there in the bottom we're going to drop another heal spell for them and it looks like we got a little bit of some defenses left in the bottom side of the base very very nice but We've had some serious hauls here today, guys, and we've only got two replays in, and we've been able to steal so much loot down here in Crystal League. Uh, it's in, it's like high crystal and low masters. You're able to steal a massive amount. There's a lot of dead bases, a lot of dead bases, a lot of dead Town Hall 11s. I wonder why. <laughs> Is Town Hall 11 that incredibly hard? I mean, I don't remember it being too hard, but it might be. I don't really know. All right, so miners are going to finish up. Looks like we got 31,950 down in this final gold mine, and the miners are going to grab that, and we're going to roll out so let's go ahead and end it right there we're going to hold on to that other heal spell to save some elixir and there's your army right there if you want to use it for yourself i tell you one spell that i actually love the most or one magic item is definitely the training potion those of you that have been watching me for the last couple of months i love that training potion so much because i'm able to just keep farming 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 and stealing so much loot we've got nine million loot that we need to go ahead and spend off i think i'm going to burn it on an expo there really is no rhyme or reason to what i'm doing on this town hall 11 i don't really play it that often but we're just going to kind of farm it up and try to max it out over over time period no we're not starting another series right this second we're going to be getting to this point later on in the let's play series the tunnel nine let's play series or the rush base series we're not going to do another <laughs> no it's just too much all right so let's go check out our perks and see oh my gosh we got a ways to go before we finish up the season bank 
So I guess we're going to be farming immediately after this video is concluded. So let's go ahead and check our army. We got our miners. We're going to go back out and search a little bit. Let me see if I can find one real fast before actually pausing for a second. Maybe we might get a really nice one to pop up while I'm searching. And maybe not. You never know. Oh, there's a dead one. Look at that one. Ooh. <laughs> the poor eagle and this was a town hall 12 ish but not enough loot to even matter so let's just keep hitting next <laughs> Alrighty there, there we go. So 566,000 gold, 655,000 elixir, and this base is also extremely dead. <laughs> it's, 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 it's night nights, what it is. Alright, so let's do a little bit of walking. We're going to finish up this video with a little bit of walk. And if you're interested in seeing all this loot go into my collectors, by all means, stick around because this is some awesome stuff, I'm telling you guys. Uh, hopefully the information in this video is a little bit more... Um, understandable for some of you lower level players like i know that a lot of you guys want the gold pass and you want to be in high level clans but you don't understand like why you can't get in clans that donate a lot because you have so many different requests and there's absolutely nothing wrong with having different requests uh you know we all understand that you guys are playing with different strategies we put out a different strategy on youtube all the time so it's you know completely understandable that players are unable to um you know they they have all these different requests and stuff and it's just really challenging for clan leaders man i mean the high level players it's just like a constant grind we had a bad wall breaker a break there unfortunately but our king did go in so we're going to be able to follow the king in uh should have used a rage spell if you want to try to get your wall breakers in and open up walls you don't have enough wall breakers rage them up you know what i mean drop a rage on the queen's location and then have them uh you know fall into that rage and it will open up the walls very nicely so we got a nice path going on here with the one side of the base so i think we'll take on this top side with our miners and kind of flank around the top side of the base let's drop miners there and looks like the king and queen are going to cut through another wall there so let's bring our miners in right here that way they can cover down and grab the resources from this location the wizard tower man the wizard towers put a hurting on those miners dude oh my gosh the poor miners are getting roasted we got a bomb tower right here that we need to worry about as well so let's go ahead and drop our heal spell there prepare for that and looks like the healers went to the king and healed him back up so that works out perfectly that way i can get into the next raid immediately after this video is over with so let's go ahead and drop a rage right here to have a little bit of fun with these miners check them out they're gonna go Woo! Yeah, I'm rage, boy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're going crazy on that town hall right now. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get the heal down on the backside of the level 40 queen. She's about to go night, night. Good night, queen. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. There we go. And miners are going to come around. Where did the miners go? All right, they're in the heal spell right now. We got some on a multi-mortar over there and are coming around the back side of the base. Going to grab up the rest of that precious loot, that beautiful, luscious gold and elixir. Give it to me. I need it very bad. We need dark elixir as well because our king still has multiple levels to go. You notice that I did max out my queen, but I didn't max out the king on this base. Man, what the world was I doing? All right, so we got all the loot. Oh, no, we didn't. We didn't get all the loot. Looks like the queen's going to final up and grab that final gold mine, and there it is. All right, so that's going to be a wraps for us today, guys. That that is our army that we're using to farm a little bit of loot for Town Hall 11. And we talked about why I bought a gold pass on my Town Hall 11 if you even... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it there. If you enjoyed the content today, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you need any additional video support, click one of those links over there. We will see you in the next one, guys. Take care.